Hi everybody, um, I'm going to do a super fast review just from my iPhone about um, a product I was super duper excited to try because I had heard such wonderful things about it and I was really 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 disappointed and it's an expensive product so I decided why not just do a review on it so that um, maybe you won't have such a poor experience like I did. Okay. The product I was so excited for was the Designer Skin Bombshell 100XX Bronzer Extreme Sizzle. It's hot. It's got a cute little blonde pinup looking chick on it. It's awesome. And I usually really enjoy tingles. Um, so I put it on and the scent is really nice. It says it's strawberry kiwi, but I think it's more like just a strawberry scent, which is fine. So it smells fine. There's no weird smell. There's... Um, just, you know, wash your hands afterwards. I don't know. It doesn't say it has bronzers in it, but a lot of them do. So I just wash my hands afterwards. Also to avoid transfer. You know, put it on my whole body. Avoid my face, though, because you don't want to put a tingle on your face. And wait, like, 5-10 minutes. Start feeling the tingle. Hop in the tanning bed. You know, go tanning. Everything's cool. Um, I didn't think it was super hot. Like, I didn't feel like the tingle was, like, crazy, crazy tingle. Like, I've had hotter tingles, so... Um, I don't know about that. Um, it is supposed to be a pretty hot tingle, but again, it was a tingle. It just felt like a normal tingle. And I've never had a sensitivity to them either. Until this. Um, it gave me a weird rash type thing on my chest, which would be like the most sensitive part that I put it on. Because I've never had a problem putting a tingle on my chest. Some people I know can only do them on their legs. Some people can't do them at all. Um, but... I've never had a problem with putting it on my chest, and I got a weird rash from it, um, and I kind of, first I was like, well, maybe it's not from that, but it's the only product I used that was weird, and I felt it on my skin, and it was itchy right there, just right on my chest, and, um, so I was like, and it had been, like, three or four hours since I had been tanning, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wash this off, like, just in case maybe, I didn't know exactly what it was, um, so I washed it off, and immediately it felt so, like, a million bajillion times better, the only problem is it left a rash, so it wouldn't be a big deal if it was just uncomfortable until you washed it off, because some tingles are that way, but it left a rash, and I was not down for that. So I'm really glad I brought the sample, which was kind of expensive just to be a sample, because it is designer skin, but I'm really glad I bought the sample. I didn't spend the money on it, and I've never had a sensitivity to it before, any tingle. So definitely if you have sensitive skin, you probably shouldn't be using a tingle in general. But if you have sensitive skin, definitely don't use uh, the designer skin bombshell. I don't know what it is in it. I'm trying to cross-reference ingredients with my other tanning lotions that have never bothered me. Um, but yeah, I was I liked it until it gave me a rash. So if you aren't sensitive, it could be a really nice lotion for you. Um, I would definitely just recommend getting the sample size first before you get it and pay a bunch of money on it. And then it gives you a rash and you're like, eh. Um, so yeah, if you have extremely sensitive skin, I would say avoid it or definitely 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 get a sample which I I just say you do with anyone because you don't want to not like it and buy the whole thing but um yeah I was just really not happy with it and I hate to say that because you know designer skin is supposed to be such a nice brand I just wasn't impressed with it um because it did give me a rash so I just wanted to put that warning out there because I had never seen anyone say anything like that so maybe it is just me um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a good day. Like it if you liked it. Comment if this did give you a rash or didn't or any other lotions you think I should try because I'm always down for that. I love lotions and blah, 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 blah. Again, I'm not a prof... Well, not really again. I never said it, but I'm not a professional. I don't, you know, I'm not a doctor. I know you're not, tanning's not good for you, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So if you have something hateful to say, you can just go ahead and shut up. But, um, yeah, so that's my review of the Designer Skin Bombshell, and I'm sorry that it wasn't a good one because I really wanted it to be. But, yeah, have a good day. Bye.